Hello, my name is Joris and I'm the creator of the uh, Autorig Pro Rig Library. I'm a game animator from Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and today I'd like to show you the workflow for creating your own rigs using the Autorig Pro Rig Library. Uh, first things first, it's important to note that um, the Autorig Pro Rig Library is built exclusively for the Autorig Pro add-on, so you need to have bought this first for the Rig Library to work. Um, it won't work on any other rigging systems for Blender. Cool. Um, so today we'll be creating a rig for this uh, T-Rex model. And the first thing we need to do is select one of the uh, 24 pre-made uh, rigs that best matches your model. In this case, for our T-Rex model, it would be the uh, Elasaur rig. There you have it. Okay, um, so let's rename the rig. Right now it's called Elasaur, but uh, just for cleanliness, let's just rename it to T-Rex. There you have it. Uh, it's also good to note that the Autorig Pro rig library comes in two versions. There's a version uh, with just the 24 pre-made rigs, but there's also a version uh, with also the 24 uh, rigs. But each of those rigs also comes with, uh, with at least one locomotion animation. Uh, for example, for this LSO rig, when we go to the action editor, you see this uh, default action, which is basically just typos, but you also see this walk cycle. Which is pretty nice. Uh, oh, there we go. Cool. Uh, I always like to check uh, the fake user uh, icon. Uh, I like to do that for all the uh, animations, so also, also for the default one, uh, just to make sure that uh, when I close off Blender and I start it back up again, I, I wouldn't have lost my animations. It's just a safety measure uh, I'd like to do. Cool. Uh, the next step would be to uh, scale the rig to the size of our model. So let's go to object mode. And here you already see the reason why I've included uh, a block mesh with every rig. Uh, it, it's it's uh, uh, a reference for the size of the rig, which makes it easier to scale your rig to the size of your model. Um, but, it all, but it's also helpful to get an idea of the placement of the bones. Uh, could help you place the bones within your own model, looking at how the bones were placed within the block mesh. Cool. Let's just go back to object mode and let's scale it roughly, roughly to the size of the T-Rex. Cool. Uh, okay, so the next thing we need to do is press match to rig in the other rig pro add-on. So let's do that. And we get this message. Uh, if you're scaling a rig that doesn't contain any animation, you won't be getting this message. Uh, but in our case, we're scaling a rig that contains two animation, uh, animations. It has this uh, default animation and also uh, a walk cycle. So in that situation, we're getting this uh, question from Autorig Pro whether we want to compensate the scale in the current actions to preserve the animation. Which basically means that uh, it, it's making sure that the uh, uh, animations are still work, uh, working correctly in the new scale from, uh, from the rig. So uh, of course we select yes. And we select uh, for which actions we want the scale to be compensated and uh, we want it for both. Press OK. Uh, let's just make sure it's working. So. Turn on the walk cycle, let's have a look. And the walk cycle is still playing correctly in the new scale of the rig. So that's nice. Cool, let's go back to the default animation and into object mode. Okay, the next step would be uh, to place or to adjust the bone setup of the rig. Uh, uh, you can just delete the, the block mesh. It was just there for reference, but uh, it's it's uh, there's no harm in just deleting it. So uh, let's just select the rig and have a look at the bone setup. Uh, there's two things when I look at this bone setup that need to be adjusted in order to fit the T-Rex mesh, and that is the amount of bones in the tail. We can do with a lot less, and it's also uh, the fingers. There's three fingers, but this T-Rex only only got two, so we can adjust that as well. So let me just select one of the tail bones, go to limp options in the Autorig Pro add-on. You can see the tail has nine bones. I think five would be enough for the T-Rex. Okay, let's now select the 
palm bone go to limb hop limp options and you can see that the hand has got a thumb a middle bone and a pinky bone we don't need the thumb same for the other hand we don't need the thumb cool so that's the bone setup uh, the next step would be to place the bones within our model. Um, I'd like to I, I like to have the X mirror setting on, so if I adjust one of the bones, it also gets adjusted on the other side, just uh, to speed up the placement of the bones. Um, I'm also going to speed up this part of the video because I, I can imagine it's quite boring just watching me place all the bones within this mesh. Uh, so uh, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I've roughly placed the bones within the model. It's not perfect, but uh, f uh, just for the sake of, uh, of quickness for this video, I've, I've placed them in good enough, I would say. Uh, so the next step would be to uh, bind the rig to the model. So let's first go back into the rig mode by clicking match to rig in the auto rig pro add-on. Uh, I'll make sure I can select the mesh t-rex I, I shift select the rig i go in to the skin tab of the other rig pro add-on and i click bind that takes some time but now yeah so now it should be skinned let's just have a look let's go into pose mode let's see if it reacts cool so yeah it's uh it's skin let's have a look at the walk cycle animation we'll probably need to do some adjustments uh, uh, to make it look all right but at least we have a starting point so as you can see yeah well it's a starting point where we'll need to adjust the uh, the steps and the position of the arms i would say but overall it's a good point to uh, to have um, at least it's faster than creating a walk cycle from scratch I would say and it's close enough already cool so let's do that let's just adjust the animation let's go into the graph editor uh, let's give a bit more room uh, ah and here we can see that we get a bunch of errors and that's uh, um, nothing to worry about these are uh, from the channels of the bones that uh, we've deleted so uh, if you can still remember we've uh, uh, um, adjusted the amount of bones in the tail for example and we've removed the thumb bones right so um, those bones no longer exist but they uh, had some animation on them before so that's why we're getting this error um, so a simple thing to do is just uh, as you can see it's all the tailbone and the thumb bones just uh, uh, select all these channels that give an error uh, just press A so you have them all selected right so press A, press A and just hit the lead no worries uh, it were channels that are no longer there because the bones are no longer there yeah sorry I was just looking why I couldn't see my channels again I just uh, switched back out in and out again uh, uh, a, a switch to the action editor and back to the graph editor and now I see my channels again on the left side uh, I just like to work with those so cool sorry um, so uh, 
first off let's adjust the step size because he's taking two big steps for yeah so let's just adjust that so t-rex yeah and this should be a linear line eh? when when uh, the foot is on the ground it should be linear as you probably know let me also adjust adjust the location so it's a bit more closer to the ground okay let's do let's also adjust the other foot so, so it doesn't go too back back too far cool could probably use a bit more tweaking but At least the steps are looking a bit better. Okay, now let's also adjust the arms because <laughs> he's uh, uh, looking like a, a fancy T Rex, I would say, with his arms up like this. But uh, let's just uh, adjust the position of those arms. Uh, I think that's in the rotate X. Okay, cool. So let's just just that I think we can also do a bit in the Z rotation and in the Y as well just to make it look a bit more natural right it's better do it also for the other arm. Oh. Um, okay, set rotation, I would say. Oh. Don't have to twin the arms exactly, which is nice. Makes it look a bit more natural. Cool. Of course, there's a lot more stuff we can tweak. Still don't like the legs. Let me let me just do a little bit more to the legs. I don't like how that's going. It's the ankle is collapsing in way too much. Yeah, over there. So let's just not do that. I would say the same for the other foot. Yeah, better. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's still a lot more I could tweak about this uh, uh, walk cycle. But to be honest, in just a few minutes, we have a pretty decent looking walk cycle for a T-Rex. So we've rigged it and we'll, and well, we sort of already animated it. So, um, yeah i hope this was helpful um this is the way how i use the rig library um uh, and if the, if you've got any questions you can always contact me uh through uh, have a look at the blender market uh, page uh, for the auto rig pro rig library uh, but thank you so much for uh, uh for taking the time to have a look at this demonstration cheers